Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. Today I'm tying a very traditional dry fly pattern called Howe's Special. The hook I'm using is a size 14 dry fly hook, although you can go much smaller, 16s and 18s. And the thread I'm using is yellow silk. It's a lovely material to tie with, very grippy. This is a replica of Piersol's light yellow. And when you wax it, which I recommend you do heavily, it takes on a lovely translucent olivey green colour. For the tail, I'm using some ginger cock fibres from this variant Indian cape. And then up at the thorax, and this was one of Howe's signatures on his flies, a little pinch of natural hare's ear dubbing. The main hackle on this fly is ginger. I've got this nice barred ginger cape from my whiting, and I'm breaking with tradition a bit using genetic hackle. And then for the front hackle, it's a soft hackle, using the under coverts from a woodcock wing. Nice barred brown soft hackle, works really nicely. So I've cast on my thread just behind the hook eye, and I'm laying down a little base of thread. The body on this fly is going to be made up of the silk, so I want to lay down a nice smooth foundation. I've taken it back down the length of the hook shank, and I'm taking a small pinch of my cock fibres, ginger cock fibres from that Indian cape, and I'm tying that in and wrapping forwards. Before starting I pulled out about the first 12 inches of my thread, my silk, and waxed it quite heavily. That just means I don't have to keep going back with the wax during the tying. I'm spinning my thread a little flatter here. I'm going to go back down and up again, just building up a little bit of a body. I'm not being too particular. Having a little bit of those cock fibres showing through can actually give a nice bit of colour variation. On the way back forward, I'm making slightly open wraps to give a slightly ribbed effect for the fly. I've taken that up to the thorax, and here I've taken a very small pinch of the, my hair's ear dubbing. The pattern calls for two wraps and two wraps only, so there's one and there's two. And you can see that's built up a little ball shape of that hair's ear, and it's going to sit nicely behind the hackle. Here I've prepared that ginger cock hackle by stripping a little bit off the stem. I'm tying that in with a cross wrap technique, bringing the butt forward, and then we'll trim off the excess. With the feather secured in, we can then wrap the hackle. A little bit about the background to this fly. Tommy Howe was a Boer War soldier who, upon his retirement from the military, became rather keen on fly fishing, and he developed this pattern to fish the River Eden up in Cumbria. And the uh, little ball of hair's ear behind his, behind his thorax was somewhat of a signature on the flies that he developed. Sadly, it's a pattern that's, well, I won't say been forgotten, but certainly fallen out of favour. But you never know, sometimes the traditional ones really do work the best. So I've wrapped about four turns of my hackle there and trimmed off the excess. And I'm just going to take the thread back a couple of wraps, ready to tie in my soft hackle. Again, the pairing of a cock hackle and a soft hackle on these dry flies is a very traditional thing. But I think it gives a really nice combination of flotation and then also with a little bit of movement and a little bit of legginess to the fly. I've prepared my woodcock under covert. I've drawn back some of the fibres and snipped off at the tip, and then I've tied in at the tip, leaving a little bit of a handle at the base to grab with my hackle pliers. It gets a little bit tricky up at the front, you don't want to lose those thread wraps. Notice it's only held in with two wraps, but with that waxed silk it's a really grippy material, so it's actually a perfectly secure, secure tie-in point. That's my first soft hackle wrap, and here's my second. Again, it's getting very, very short, but we can bring that thread up and over, that's caught it, and then I can wrap behind the hook eye. Drawing everything back, going to make a couple of loops, and then whip finish. I'll come back in and trim off that bit of extra stem later. You can see it's a very attractive pattern, it works well to imitate some of the early season mayflies, very pale ones. That's my whip finish done, built up a little bit of a head, and the silk does build up quite quickly, it's thick thread. It's a lovely material to tie with. So here's a view of the finished fly. You can see you've got that stiff cock hackle and that soft wood cock hackle showing through, a nice long tail, and that slightly ribbed olivey silk body. It's a lovely fly. Feel free to resurrect it, and hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.